my hand over your heart, get ready, and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and in the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Hello, buenas tardes, ¿cómo están? How's everybody doing? Good. Okay, well really quick, we're just going to cover a little bit of history on uh, uh, the project that led to us having this new playground in place here. Uh, brevemente nada más una uh, pequeña historia sobre cómo es que llegamos a tener este nuevo uh, centro de recreo para los niños. Ya como escucharon, as you all just heard, the park and the center were originally built in 1971. So it's been in this community for a very, very long time and we're very happy to add uh, the playground now. El uh, parque fue construido en 1971 ya como escucharon y desde ese entonces está sirviendo a esta comunidad. Uh, in 2002, the center and the park went through some major renovations and we had another playground installed here at that uh, point. En el 2002, el centro y el parque fueron renovados y en ese entonces también se cambió uh, el, el, el centro de recreo. In 2007, en el 2007, el parque fue renombrado. The park was renamed after a community leader and someone who is very much uh, uh, loved and, and remembered in this community. El eh, parque fue renombrado uh, en honor a una persona que vivió en esta comunidad por mucho tiempo y que se le recuerda con mucho cariño. So as you all know, como ya todos saben, el parque ahora se llama Chepas Park. El parque, and you know, uh, the, the park is now known as Chepas Park. Now, Let's uh, move uh, 10 years uh, after that to last year, 2017, when uh, the California Parks and Recreation Society offered an opportunity to apply for grants, you know, focused on healthy play uh, opportunities. And uh, thanks to the efforts of Ms. America Robledo, who's here in the back. America, say hello. Um, she applied for the grant and we were successful in obtaining it. Um, diez años después de que el parque fue renombrado, se nos presentó la oportunidad de aplicar para una beca para adquirir un nuevo uh, centro de recreo para los niños y gracias a los esfuerzos de la uh, señora América Robledo que aplicó para uh, este uh, beca, uh, tuvimos éxito en obtener los fondos. So now this brings us to the beginning of this year. Y empezando ahora a principios de este año, um, we were able to then have the equipment delivered. Nos trajeron todo el equipo y uh, ya con el esfuerzo de el equipo de mantenimiento de la ciudad through the efforts of general maintenance staff, and I believe Wayne is here. So Wayne, okay, and Mr. Owen and the rest of his crew, so if we can also give them a round of applause and thank them for their efforts because this was a project that was made possible not only through their expertise, but also through the uh, efforts of uh, the company that we purchased the equipment from, and of course, the, the residents, and, you know, who also were very much involved in, in the process. So, agradecemos a todos los que estuvieron involucrados en la construcción del de nuevo centro de uh, uh, recreo para los niños, uh, ya que con todo uh, su apoyo y su ayuda, al igual que con el esfuerzo de la comunidad en hacer este centro de recreo uh, posible, es que lo tenemos aquí listo uh, para disfrutarlo hoy. So, after today, every, it, the playground will be open for everyone to enjoy. So, is everybody excited, looking forward to it? Yeah. Okay, well then let's carry on with the ceremony. I think it's an honor to be back here. There's almost no better thing that we could do as elected officials than open up new parks, especially parks that have activities for all our youngsters and I'm not going to give a long speech because I'd rather see the kids use the playground so no long speech for me. I do want to introduce a, a couple of our parks commissioners. Irma uh, Macias, Cecilia Aguinaga. We're here a little bit more but uh, we even have one of our county-wide leaders here. You know when our clerk of court, let's give him a big round of applause. And he'll be up in a little bit. And then uh, also representing the local supervisor's office, uh, we have uh, Ophelia Valverde. Thank you. Oh, she's a commissioner too? And she's the chair. Wow, she has multiple hats. Congratulations. 
Gracias a todos por todo el apoyo año tras año en realizar este centro y este nuevo lugar para que los niños jueguen. Uh, we have a lot of great leaders in the community from the, you know, the Romeros to the Andrades to also a new generation of leaders. I know uh, Dolores Almaraz is also from this neighborhood uh, with a group called uh, Mujeres Migrantes en Progreso and she and other women are doing good things for our city as well. Tenemos muchos líderes grandes aquí en esta comunidad y como dije es un gran honor estar aquí para abrir este nuevo centro para nuestros jóvenes. Again, a great honor to be here uh, uh, to dedicate this day for the children. Uh, with that, you know, I already mentioned him, but it's my honor to bring up our clerk recorder, Yu Nguyen. Bienvenido. Come on up. Wow, I'm so excited to be here. You guys know what we do at our office? Does anybody know what the clerk recorder does? Anybody born in Orange County? We issue birth, death, and marriage certificate. Anybody want to get married soon? Yeah. Everybody must. Well, you have to come to our office to get a marriage license. And so, and we perform marriage ceremony. But another important thing is we all like to travel, right? Yes. We issue, a, we help with passports. So we do all kinds of uh, great service for the community. But, uh, you know, when I checked my schedule today and I talked to my wife last night, um, I said, well, I'm going to go to SEPA Park tomorrow. She says, you're not going? Because I had interviews set up. And she goes, that's our wife's, that's my family's cousin. You got to be there. And so we started talking all night. And funny story is when my son was your guy's age, the little kids here, I used to drop off my son with Lucy and Seppa, right over there, right? And so a lot of history in our family. Um, my father-in-law is uh, Ramundo Laguna and Alfred Laguna, they all live in the Logan. So it's my privilege and honor to be here with you today. And so I have two certificates that I would like to present. First one is to Josephine Laguna, Andrea. Uh, so whoever wants to, so. All right, welcome. So in honor of Lorena de la Logan, or the Queen of Logan, for her community activists and her effort in preserving the character of the Logan neighborhood, Chepas Park will be a place where the community can come to live a happier, more active, and healthier life. It would also serve as a place to honor the neighborhood legacy. So congratulations to your mom. Congratulations on your ribbon cutting ceremony for Chepa Park. We look forward to seeing this great new playground, providing the community and the opportunity to live a happier, active, and healthy lifestyle. So thank you to the city of Santa Ana. Keep up the good work and all your commissioner. You guys do an amazing job, Jose, and this is for you. Thank you so much. He's so great. I, I love coming out to these. Uh, the councilman is right. We need more green space. And it's gonna make our uh, our kids can want to come out and play, and get more active and healthy, and it also beautifies the area. And I think that Chepa would be very, very proud. I know you guys are proud of your mom, and this is just a wonderful, wonderful legacy. Um, on behalf of Supervisor Andrew Doe, I'm gonna read uh, what we put on the uh, certificate. Congratulations on the new playground equipment at Chepa's Park. Your project truly adds to the quality of life in Santa Ana, and best wishes on all future endeavors. And this is for the city, and we also have the family one that I will be bringing to you later. Um, but this is beautiful, so they can hang it up at the city, so they always remember what we did here in Logan. Hello, everybody. Um, I left, I, I actually left these little uh, pamphlets right there in the table, so you can have all the information that what we have. But <clears throat> I want to share with you uh, the programs that we have uh, in right now, which is the teens club, the after school program, the computer lab, even there is a very, very small center, we have a very active community here. Uh, the family pride club, and upcoming next Monday, we are going to start the pride fitness, which is a program for the ladies at night to come and do exercise. And it's going to be Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, for the summer, we are going to have the summer uh, day camp, the teens club, and the lunch program. 
So we are going to start the activity here at the park at 11 to, uh, 11.30 instead of 2 o'clock. That is what we usually do, okay? Uh, of course, with the new playground, we are going to have a much fuller park. So I know the community is very happy and, and the, they bring in the, the kids to enjoy it already. I was talking with one of the members of the community uh, a while ago, and he was telling me how he's bringing his um, grandchildren every day. So that's what we expect here in the community, all the little children to come and, and your grandchildren to be at the park. Rudy! 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 Rudy. Rudy. Count that out loud, Rudy! Count.